What is the future of test management with AI? Have you seen Playwright's must-try brand new browser extension? And can Cypress really automate complex healthcare APIs? Find out in this episode of the Test Guild News Show, the week of August 24th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. All right, first up is all about AI and test management. So Test Sigma has just released updates to its test management platform aimed at removing common QA bottlenecks that I know all of us deal with. Many teams still rely on things like legacy tools or spreadsheets that were built for modern sprint velocities, slowing down test planning, execution, and reporting. Also, traditional tools also act as a little more than checklists, requiring manual story to test mapping, slow authoring, and time-consuming defect reporting that wastes development time and creates coverage gaps. So what do you do? Well, Test Sigma's new AI system, Auto, uses four agents to automate key workflows like sprint planning, it auto-detects and plans sprints, generator, which creates detailed test cases from Jira, Figma, PRDs, or user videos, and runner, which executes tests with live interactive controls, and finally, Bug Reporter, which produces reproducible bug reports with bi-directional sync. And what I really like is how this platform unifies sprint detection, test case generation, execution, and bug reporting in one environment. So it also has, I always say, seeing is believing, it has a free seven-day trial, which is available, letting teams evaluate its impact on sprint speed and workflow automation in your context. What do you have to lose? Check it out for yourself using that link down below. Let me know how it works for you. So next up is all about Playwright. So Debbie O'Brien has published a guide on the new Playwright MCP browser extension, which lets testers run authenticated sessions directly in Chrome Edge and other Chromium browsers. And this is really cool because it solves a common issue where QA teams had to start with clean browser states, repeatedly logging in, or passing credentials to LLMs. This extension launches the MCP server against existing browser profiles, enabling more realistic workflows for enterprise apps behind authentication. She also goes over step-by-step -step how to set this up, how to download it. Also, she goes over a workflow that opens the browser with a logged-in profile, starts the MCP server, requests navigation, and selects the tab for MCP connection. And from there, Copilot and Agent Mode can interact with authenticated sessions, navigating profile pages, updating settings, or generating tests for user workflows. And she also has a demo which shows a GitHub profile update, which performs seamlessly within a logged-in state. So if you're using Playwright, I'm sure you deal with this all the time. So it's definitely a must-read. Find out more about it using the links down below. So having worked in healthcare for the majority of my career, this announcement really caught my attention. And this is all how senior SDAT Saran Kumar has released an open source Cypress suite for automating FHIR API testing, which is gaining traction in the QA community. So FHIR, which stands for Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources, is a HL7 standard for exchanging healthcare data electronically. So this framework validates core resources like patient condition, observation, medication through CRUD operations using the HAPI FHIR test server as the target environment. It supports dynamic JSON test data, scalable fixtures that integrate Mocha Awesomeness reporting for real validation in HTML reports. The project is also structured with dedicated directories for each resource type, centralizing Cypress configs and automated merge reporting. Testers can clone the repo, install dependencies, run tests in Cypress, and generate reports easily. Also, example flows include creating patients, linking conditions, and verifying related observations and medications. All right, so we covered Playwright, we covered Cypress. How about Selenium news? Well, if that's you, you want to hear this next one. It's all about JMeta plus Selenium WebDriver. And this is all about how Mohammed, who is a performance testing expert, has just published a guide on combining JMeter's Selenium WebDriver sampler with the HTTP request sampler for end-to-end -end performance testing. And this approach enables realistic scenarios where browser actions kick off the session, then lightweight HTTP requests carry it forward. And this tutorial uses a demo banking site to show a login by a Selenium web driver, followed by fund transfers through HTTP request. He also covers a key step in extracting cookies and how that's done, which also shows how to maintain the authenticated session across both samplers. And he also covers that while browser instances are heavier than 
HTTP request. Muhammad notes that this hybrid method is essential when certain flows can't be recorded by JMeter alone. Also, what I really like is a sample project is also provided for hands-on use so you can try it for yourself. Also, next up is the webinar of the week. So the Test Guild is going to be hosting a new webinar called Playwright at Scale, How AI Agents Are Redefining Test Velocity and Coverage. And this session will explore how AI can overcome common playwright bottlenecks like slow test creation, brittle scripts, and heavy maintenance. We'll be joined by Rayo, who is the co-founder and CEO of Audify. And the webinar is also going to showcase Audify's new AI agent, which is built for Playwright. And this enables testers to create, fix, and maintain scripts through natural language prompts, producing clean, modular code, and it's able to diagnose failures automatically. So if you attend, you're going to see a practical demo as well of conversational test generation and learn how AI reduces test debt and gain insights into where traditional playwright workflows fall short. So if you're doing anything with playwright, you don't want to miss this. Check it out using the link down below. Hope to see you there. So speaking of the test skill, I don't know how many of you know, but I'm actually hosting my first ever in-person event in Chicago. I'm calling the test guild in real life IRL. And we currently have the seats capped at 75 attendees for a more intimate hands-on type of experience. Just so you know, we have over 50 people already registered. So you want to register now if you haven't already. And this event in Chicago, you're going to learn AI powered testing strategies that you can apply immediately to speed up your delivery without sacrificing quality. You're going to discover how leading teams are solving real world QA challenges with practical, repeatable techniques. Also, you get to network with QA leaders in real life. And you also get direct access to some industry veterans ready to answer your toughest automation questions. And I'm really excited that Jason Huggins has decided to join us. If you don't know, he is the original creator of Selenium. So attendees will have a unique chance to meet him in person and ask him about the future of Selenium and discuss how AI is reshaping test automation and what his vision is as well. I know he's working on a special new solution so you can pick his brain. Hope to see you there. Register now. You don't want to miss out. Use the link down below. So as you know, in the testing industry, there's a lot of buzzwords going on. Here's a new one I just learned about. It's enterprise general intelligence. What is it? Well, let's check it out. So this was just introduced by Salesforce, which has introduced enterprise general intelligence, EGI, which shifts AI discussions from consumer use cases to business focused applications. And unlike consumer AI, which emphasizes broad conversational skills, EGI prioritizes domain depth, consistency, an integration with enterprise systems. So EGI is framed through a capability consistency matrix aiming for champion systems that deliver reliable results across complex business scenarios. And the article discusses how the development path mirrors elite athletes training, which includes pre-training for general skills, fine tuning for industry contacts, and ultra fine tuning for organizational needs. And their EGI readiness framework highlights three pillars like infrastructure, risk governance, and skill development. Last up is a follow the money segment. And so I've been seeing a lot of different companies coming out in the SRE AI space. And here's another one. And this is all how Y Combinator startup SRE.AI founded in 2024 has come out of stealth by ex-Google DeepMind engineers Edward and Raj has launched with 7.2 in C funding to bring AI agents into enterprise DevOps. And the article goes over how the platform uses natural language agents to automate tasks like CI, testing, release pipelines, and monitoring across AWS, Azure, Salesforce, ServiceNow, and more. And instead of stitching together multiple low-code tools, teams get a chat-like context-driven experience spanning multiple platforms. Before we go, don't forget, if you want to modernize your testing, check out our sponsor, Zaptest AI's AI-driven platform, that supercharges your automation efforts. Their intelligent co-pilot generates optimized code snippets while their planned studio streamlines test case management effortlessly. Experience the power of AI in action with their crazy risk-free six-month proof of concept featuring a dedicated Zap expert at no upfront costs. Support the show and check it out for yourself by going to testguild.me forward slash Zap Test News. All right, for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, hand it over to all those links in the comments down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.